First, though, let's kick off that weather forecast with meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth. He is in the forecast center. Hi, Ed. Hi, uh, yeah, guys. We're looking at uh, the those first reports of sleet coming in. We had them about an hour and a half ago, and we've received numerous reports uh, since then. Uh, take a look at your live Viper 6. We'll show you what's happening. A large area of, of precipitation. Now that just switched over the green, but that is actually mixed precip happening right now. We're seeing a little bit of sleet, a little bit of rain as well with this. And um, we'll zoom in on the area. That drive along I-20 could become a little bit more difficult here as we go through the afternoon as temperatures continue to fall. We're going to see a lot more of that mixed precip occurring as we go through the rest of the uh, afternoon here. There's a look at the bigger picture over the southeast and this massive winter storm rolling across uh, the deep south. We've got a large area of mixed precip. We've had reports of freezing rain back to Columbus, snow falling in Atlanta at this time, and again, some uh, light rain over southern Georgia as well. Again, you can see what's happening. All of this rain, now all of this precip is starting to hit the ground. We're getting more reports, and that will continue to be the case for the rest of the the afternoon winter storm warnings are in effect for all of our CSRA communities now all the way through Wednesday and again timing wise it's going to be affecting a lot of folks driving around the region as we go on through the afternoon and meteorologist Jason Nappy is now in the severe weather center to talk more about the timing of this storm Jason now weather coverage you can count on WJBF live Viper 6. Well, just about an hour ago, this is some video that we took uh, with our iPhone just outside. This is one of our news vehicles. If you look very closely from time to time, you'll see a couple very small pellets of ice bouncing off the windshield. And yeah, there they go. That is sleet. That was our first report uh, that we had here right here at Television Park. We've had numerous reports of this wintry mix uh, throughout the morning, and that will likely continue as we go through the rest of your afternoon as well. So here's the forecast temperatures falling as we go through the rest of today. Right Right around freezing by four o'clock and we're going to watch that wintry mix become more widespread and then eventually as a roll towards the evening, you're going to see a lot of that start transitioning over to more of a moderate snowfall uh, through the rest of the night and that will continue right on through midnight tonight. Once we go beyond midnight, I think most of the activity will start to wind down and then the storm will start to exit the region as we go into the early morning hours tomorrow. Right now officially overcast skies and still uh, mild at Augusta Regional Airport, but we're seeing a very chilly rain come down now over Aiken. Just rain, not freezing rain. Temperature still hovering above freezing right now at 36. But again, we're going to watch that number slowly start to tick down as we go through the course of the afternoon. All right, let's take a look at what's happening right now. There are your winter storm warnings. Again, we've been showing you this last uh, couple of days here. Those warnings will stay in effect and through uh, through Wednesday morning with the anticipation of rain, sleet, freezing rain as well and eventually snowfall as we go on through the course of your afternoon and evening. Let's go ahead and jump on over and take a look at what's happening right now on WJBF Live Viper 6 radar. This is a look at the radar loop. We've had this persistent area of what appears to be mixed precipitation. Temperatures actually bumped up about a degree or two here in the last couple of minutes, so that allowed a lot of this to change over to just a uh, solid cold rain. But with that colder air filtering in, I wouldn't be surprised to see this change back over to more of that wintry mix as we're going through the course of your afternoon. So that drive I-20 westbound towards Atlanta going to become a bit tricky with some slick spots along the area roadways. And here's a look at what's happening. This has been a bit deceiving throughout the morning. A lot of this has had a hard time actually hitting the ground, but now that the atmospheric column, the air above us is starting to get a little bit more moist, we're starting to see a lot of this actually reached the ground. Some snow was being reported a few minutes ago in Atlanta, some freezing precipitation near Columbus, also back through central Alabama as well. So it's uh, going to be primarily a snow event as you head towards Atlanta and points to the north. That mixing will start happening here from Athens down to Macon along I-20 here in the CSRA. And then once you get closer to the coast, this is going to become a bona fide ice storm and a pretty significant storm at that. Take a look at the current temperatures here back in the CSRA. We're seeing some of those 30s, some of those cooler spots here where we could start seeing some of that mixing uh, precip happening. Right now, 41 in Augusta, same for Louisville and 43 degrees now in Millen. So here's a look at the big picture. Co area of low pressure strengthening, allowing for that influx of moisture into the southeast, running right into that cold air. 
Here's the latest run of the forecast model. Let's take this, the, take you through the afternoon here. By 4 p.m., temperatures drop. That's going to allow all of this to change over to that wintry mix. And we're very concerned now about Bamberg, Barnwell, Allendale counties, also eastern Burke County. We could see a prolonged period of freezing rain in that area. That could lead to some uh, pretty significant icing. Then that all changes over to snow as we go through the evening. Augusta metro area. Aiken, Thompson, Evans, all seeing some snow, some moderate snow as we go into the overnight period. And then once we roll past midnight, all of this starts to roll on out of here. We'll be saying goodbye to this system by the time you wake up tomorrow. One to three inches of snow, although now look at our model painting in perhaps a little bit more than that, maybe on the three to five inch range there across some portions of Aiken County. And again, ice accumulations up to a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more across the southwestern, uh, southeastern portions of our area. So again, icy roads and bridges. We're also going to be looking at overpasses that will likely start freezing over. And there's your four, uh, six day forecast. Much improved weather coming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We'll start warming back up into the 60s with another chance of rain on Sunday. Well, our winter storm coverage continues. This storm is marching across the south, set to pack a one two punch of snow and ice and the heaviest accumulation expected in the Carolinas. But even places like New Orleans could also see measurable amounts of ice and snow. Here's ABC's Tamon Bradley. Well, team coverage means the privilege of welcoming in another member of the News Channel 6 weather team. If you could see the newsroom right now, the faces that are there, <laughs> the meteorologist who kicked all this coverage off bright and early. Ed Bloodsworth is back with us now. Yeah, he's live tonight right outside Television Park in the Satellite Garden. Good snowy evening to you, Ed. Yeah, the snow is still coming down very steadily here in West Augusta. And I'll tell you what, it's been an incredible day uh, when we had, we saw the full transition. Of course, very early this morning, we had the initial reports of sleet and a very cold rain. And then throughout the afternoon and evening, we saw the gradual transition to freezing rain, back to sleet, and then eventually to snow. That's what we're seeing now. And boy, it's piling up. Take a look at a Viper. These are your 12 hour snowfall totals here across the region. Then they're incredibly impressive. Some areas approaching three inches of snow on the ground in Edgefield, a good chunk of the area of Richmond County, Columbia County, seeing about two inches of snow on the ground. Again, still coming down, still anticipating that general two to four inch range. Some areas getting close to five inches of snow on the ground before all is said and done. Guys, I'll tell you what, this will be a very popular tool come tomorrow morning. A lot of ice on those windshields. I got my ice scraper ready to go uh, tonight and tomorrow morning, guys. All right, Ed Bloodsworth, thanks. You are waking up to a winter wonderland. You certainly are. Mm -hmm. Our team coverage of Winter Storm 2014 begins on I-20 in Augusta. News Channel 6's Julie Parisi is live near the Georgia Welcome Center. And meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth is live in the Forecast Center, and meteorologist Jason Nappy is live in the Severe Weather Center. Let's check in with Ed right now, and uh, boy, patience really pays <laughs> off. We finally saw snow in Augusta around 8 last night, Ed. Yeah, you know, it took a while for it to begin, but once it came down, it did uh, certainly come down hard in some areas. Take a look at the last 24 hours here as this uh, winter storm rolled in. Area of low pressure developed. It took a while. Started off as some cold rain and sleet. Then it made that steady transition through freezing rain back to sleet and eventually uh, for a while some moderate snowfall coming down and we're still dealing with some lingering snow flurries uh, right now. So we've got some winter storm warnings in effect. The area is shaded in pink and that shade of purple. That's a uh, winter weather advisory with some of that lingering leftover snow and there's your live radar network as it does reveal that we do have some snow showers still ongoing stretching through Louisville Wrightsville back towards Evans and Augusta and uh, back to Barnwell. I don't think we're gonna see much more in the way of accumulating snow. Uh, that is certainly some good news and speaking of that it did end up panning out got some uh, pretty decent uh, snowfall totals out of that. Let's go and check in with those snowfall totals with meteorologist Jason Nappy Jason.